Hey what's up guys welcome back to my channel Z here and in today's video I'm going to be doing a simple unboxing and introduction to this new DAP player that I have. So for those of you guys that don't know a DAP is a digital audio player. So this one is by Feo and it is the M7 model. And as a disclaimer Feo did send this DAP out to me to review. So this video is not sponsored I just got a free unit for me to do a review on. In case you guys were interested in checking this out for yourself, I'll drop a link to their Amazon listing for this product in the description below. And right off the bat, this DAP does sound pretty good and I will be using it in my upcoming earphone review videos. So basically anytime I'm testing out an earphone, I will be using this DAP. Now starting first with the unboxing, as you can tell this box has quite a few impressive certification logos on it. So first of all at the top right corner you have the Hi-Res Audio logo. At the bottom right you have LDAC as well as Qualcomm APTX HD and I believe this also supports DSD. Now opening up the box you have the DAP in all its glory. It's a pretty sturdy piece. It doesn't feel light or hollow like you would imagine. It actually has some nice heft to it. Let's go ahead and turn this on now and see that interface. So while this is turning on, let me speak about some of the specs. So I believe inside you have the Xenos chip, which is made by Samsung. It's an ARM-based uh, CPU chip. As you can see on the bottom of the device, you have USB Type-C. On the left side of the device, you have one scroll wheel and a total of three buttons. The scroll wheel is to raise and lower the volume. The top button is to go to the previous track. The middle button is to play pause and then the bottom button is to skip to the next track. I actually would have thought that the bottom button would have been to go to the previous track and the top button would have been to go to the next track, but I guess it's just the opposite. And at the top you have the 3.5 millimeter headphone port, which also acts as a line out port for your speaker systems. And then you have the power on off button, which is lit by an LED. And then on the right side, you have the micro SD expansion slot, which supports up to 512 gigabytes of storage. So technically you can store tons of music on the device, so long as you do have that 512 gigabyte micro SD card. So some of the other things you get in the box is a transparent TPU case. You'll also get some paper. And then lastly, you'll get the USB type C charging data cable. Otherwise that's pretty much it for the unboxing. You won't get any sort of carrying case, which honestly, I don't think you really need. All right, so now to the user interface. So setup is pretty straightforward. You have the language setup and then you have the region setup so that you can get the FM regional radio stations. To which I did forget to mention that this also has an FM radio, which is pretty sweet. Which kind of reminds me of the 90s since we were using a lot of FM radio back in the day. Because back then in the 90s, we didn't really have streaming devices. The closest we got to streaming music was with an FM radio. Now, after setting this up, I did also update the firmware by simply going to the FAO website and downloading the latest firmware. I believe it's like 370 megabytes. I then transferred that to the micro SD card. I then put the micro SD card back into the player. And from there, I was able to update the firmware on the device. It was actually pretty straightforward. Anyway, let's now go through the menu. So the first icon you have here is Fio Music. If you tap on that, you'll get into your music list. So within there, you'll have a bunch of other icons. You'll have all songs, artists, albums, etc. If you click on all songs, it'll take you to all your songs or all your music that you currently have on the device. Sometimes you'll have to update the device. So you'll have to rescan the device for new songs that you uh, recently put onto the micro SD card. So basically, if you go back one step and if you click on the gear icon all the way on the top right, that'll take you into a menu here. And if you click scan for songs, that'll scan the uh, micro SD card for songs or the selected folder. You have two options. Alternatively, if you don't want to do that, you just scroll down to the menu until you get auto update toggle that on and that'll automatically update every time you basically take out the micro SD card and transfer songs onto the card, then transfer it back into the actual player. And that'll, again, that'll auto update your music list. Now the player also has an equalizer. Basically in order to get to that, if you are in a song, you just tap on the album art and all the way on the left hand corner, you'll see these three bars or three vertical bars. If you tap on that, 
you'll get into the equalizer and to toggle it on, on the top right corner, you have to turn on that radio button and then you'll be able to mess around with the equalization. And if you scroll left and right, or sorry, if you scroll right, you'll get the higher frequencies. If you scroll left, you'll get to the lower frequencies and you can mess around with that. They also have presets as well for pop and was it, I think rock. Additionally, if you go back to the last screen, you'll see the track information. So if it's an MP3, it'll say MP3. If it's a FLAC file, it'll say FLAC file. And then you'll see the amount of hertz, the bits, and the kilobits per second. So I'm just going to quietly scroll through some of the other options that you have here. And you can just check them out as I'm scrolling through them. Now getting back to the music player, as you can see if I tap on all songs, you'll see that that's where all of my music is currently. Now the response time of scrolling up and down or just tapping on some icons is relatively decent, I suppose. It's not super fast like on an iPhone or like an Android device, but it's not that slow either. So it's not super responsive, but it's definitely a lot faster than many dApps that I've seen in the market today. Now, as I mentioned before, this Feo M7 DAP supports APTX HD and the regular APTX. So with regular APTX, you're getting 352 kilobits per second. And with APTX HD, you get up to 576 kilobits per second. So essentially, this is a very capable device. So you get high definition Bluetooth audio transferred over to your Bluetooth earphones, which you don't really get with other mobile devices, unless of course you have a Bluetooth mobile device that supports APTX HD. And of course you'll also be getting that high quality wired connection as well with that 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, something that not a lot of devices still have today. And I have no shame in saying that I am looking at Apple and Google. Hashtag bring back the headphone jack. And if I haven't mentioned this already, this device also supports DSD, which stands for Direct Stream Digital. It's basically a high resolution format that produces a high resolution signal. So you're probably going to see a lot of this in my upcoming review videos of earphones. I'm gonna start using this as my default audio playback device. I do get a lot of comments asking why I don't use a DAC or a DAP. So anyway, I'm gonna start using this, even though I still think that the iPhone 6 is a perfectly capable device of handling high quality audio. Actually, if you didn't know this, the iPhone 6's DAC can support 24 bit, 192 kilohertz audio. So again, in my opinion, I believe that the iPhone 6 is more than capable of handling high quality audio. But anyway, I'm gonna start using this DAP since it does give me that extra edge. It does support higher bit rates. So anyway, that is pretty much it for my introduction on the Feo M7 DAP. Hopefully you guys found this video helpful in some way or form. If you did, please do leave a like. Also, if you guys had any questions regarding this Feo M7 DAP, let me know in the comments section below. So for now, thank you all for watching, and as always, I'll catch you in the next one. Later, guys.